Okay, so let's see what we got. That's the pickled daikon radish. And yes, this is half and half. So today my husband bought Korean fried chicken. And um, you know, that's what we're having for dinner. I don't have to cook, but I do have recipes for Korean fried chicken. So I'll show you how I make them. But anyways, this looks amazing. Mmm, so good. Today I'm gonna to show you two methods that I like to make Korean fried chicken. One in the air fryer, the other double fried on the stovetop. Today I'm working with two pounds of chicken legs. Now what I'm going to do is add buttermilk. You could use around a cup to a cup and a half. I just wanna make sure that it's coated in the buttermilk. And now I'm going to sprinkle in my seasoning mix. And I'm gonna use a glove today and I'm just going to mix this and then cover with a lid and just put it in the refrigerator for about two hours overnight for best results. Here I have one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground ginger powder, one and a half teaspoons garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons onion powder, one and a half teaspoons chicken bouillon powder, half teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of Korean red pepper powder one teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna give it a mix, and this is going to be the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add, I'm gonna start with three quarters of a cup of mineral water, and then add until the mixture is pancake batter consistency, just like this. Now that my chicken has marinated, I'm going to remove it from the marinade and add the chicken right into the wet batter. Now, some of you might think maybe coat it in maybe dry flour first. You could definitely do that, but this is why I find this easy. It's just from one bowl to the next. Now that it's coated in the batter, I'm going to place it in preheated oil. I've preheated it to around 365 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to cook the larger pieces for a little bit longer, but the cook time does vary. So I'm going to double fry this. So for the first fry, I'm gonna let it cook for around 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to remove it and repeat the process for the rest of the chicken. Now for the double fry, I'm going to put the chicken back into the fry oil once it's heated again, and let that continue cooking for another five minutes or until the chicken is a deep golden brown color and cook through. So to marinate the chicken, here I have uh, close to two pounds of drumsticks. I'm gonna add some salt, go with like a half teaspoon Gonna add some soy sauce, like a tablespoon. Gonna go in with a, actually I need to do this. A little bit of ginger powder, garlic powder, I would say like a teaspoon, teaspoon of onion powder. Gonna go in with like a half, oh, well a quarter teaspoon of Korean red pepper flakes. And I'm gonna go with like a quarter cup of Shaoxing cooking wine. You could use rice cooking wine, um, regular white cooking wine, or just leave it out. So I'm just gonna massage this, give it a mix with clean hands. And just kind of coat everything. 
And I'm gonna marinate this for a good 45 minutes to an hour, 30 minutes at least. You can even do this overnight if you've got time. So yeah, into the fridge. Okay, so I'm gonna create a batter for my chicken. Here I have a half cup of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm adding a quarter cup of cornstarch. I'm also going to add, whoops, tablespoon of baking powder. I'm gonna go with just an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, ginger powder. half teaspoon of garlic powder, and these are granulated garlic powder and onion powder, and half teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna go in with a teaspoon of salt. Give that a mix. And I'll go with like a quarter teaspoon of the Korean red pepper flakes. That's optional if you don't want it spicy, or if you want more spice, add more. I'm gonna add one, one large egg. Tablespoon of cooking oil. Gonna mix that up. I'm gonna start with a third cup of cold water and add more until you get a pancake batter consistency. You could also substitute the cold water with cold uh, sparkling water, mineral water. Some people like to add beer. <laughs> it definitely works. Okay, I need a little bit more water. I don't want this too thick and I don't want this too thin. So this is a good, maybe on the thicker side work since this is gonna go into an air fryer. I do want it to kind of be thicker. So like a half cup of water went in here. Well, maybe a third, a third to a half cup. Okay. Okay, so here for the dry uh, dredge, I'm using a quarter cup cornstarch to three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna give that a mix. And this is what I'm going to do the dry coating with. I'm gonna add garlic powder, onion powder, I'm going in with like three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Give that a mix. You could also add some more uh, red chili pepper flakes if you like spice, but I'm skipping out on that. Okay, so that's the dry dredge. Okay, so my chicken has been marinating. Um, now it's time to dredge it and coat it. So I'm gonna take with clean hands, take my marinated chicken here, and I'm gonna place it in there into my wet, coat it. You might wanna do like a dry hand, wet hand. Now I'm gonna place it into my dry flour mixture. This will be my dry hand. Give it a good coating, kind of press it in. I'm using a spoon. If you want to double coat it, go for it. That works. But yeah, I'm gonna, okay. Shake it off and place it right here onto a baking sheet to hang out until you're ready to, you know, fry these. So these are coated. Now, before I put these in the air fryer, let me get situated here. I am going to lightly coat them in oil. Now, typically a spray cooking oil 
would be the best thing to do in this situation, but I am out of that. So I'm just going to coat, coat it just like this. Here, I have my air fryer basket. You know what, you can, let's uh, coat it with some cooking oil. Okay, and now I'm going to place my drumsticks. Hopefully they, they will fit, I've done this before, but Let's do like that. Yeah, that'll work. And then here we go. Okay, going into my air fryer. And we have 380, 380 degrees Fahrenheit for, let's do time, 12 minutes. There we go. So for the sauce I'm creating, whoops, nope, that doesn't work. There we go. I'm going to add some ketchup, go with like a half cup, I'm going to go with some soy sauce, maybe like a tablespoon, let's go with like a tablespoon of mirin, some onion powder, garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic and onion if you, you like. I'm going to make this sure this is on low. I don't want it boiling out of control. I'm also going to add some sugar, like a two teaspoons. Taste it. Add some more. Give that a mix. I'm also going to add some gochujang. This is that spicy Korean pepper paste. And um, I really don't want this super spicy, but you know, like I said, things like spicy, salty, sweet. It's really, it's up to you. So I guess a tablespoon works. There we go. Give that a mix. And go in with like a quarter cup of water, crank it up a little bit, give that a mix and bring it to a simmer. You'll want to taste for salty, sweetness, tanginess, spiciness, and adjust to your preference. Oh, and one last thing, I am going to add some sesame oil. I'll start with a, a teaspoon and if I want more, I'll add more. Once it starts to uh, bubble and simmer like this, I'm just gonna give it a mix. Let it go, let it bubble like this. And I, you can honestly tell what side is the hot spot of the pan here. But um, I'm gonna let this bubble and simmer for a minute and then shut off the heat and it's ready. Oh, it smells great. And like I said, taste it for things like salty, sweetness, uh, if you want more rice vinegar in it or the mirin, you can add rice vinegar in place of the mirin if that's what you've got. So this is done. Yum. Okay. So it's been about 12 minutes. I'm going to give the chicken a flip. Already it's getting crispy and crunchy, which is wonderful. Try not to disturb the crust, but it's really crispy. So we're going back in, oops, and I'm going to set the time again, 12 minutes, there we go. Okay, so this is done. So you can eat as is, but I'm going to create a sauce with it. Okay, so I have my chicken, I have my sauce. So, because I don't want to disturb the crispity crunchiness of this chicken, I'm going to just, I'm just going to paint 
my chicken with this sauce gently. Now, I mean, is this perfectly fried chicken? Nope, but it's a great alternative if you don't want to fry it in uh, cooking oil. And this is one of my uh, favorite sauces to make when I'm doing Korean fried chicken. We pretty much uh, resort back to this sauce. This is what, this one and the soy garlic, like soy honey garlic sauce. Okay, so you can garnish with your toasted sesame seeds and you know, plate it up, yum. I mean, this is like perfect. So you can have it either way, eat it plain like this or right here. This is where it's at, so good. It's really hot by the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm, tender, juicy. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to show you, I know you guys are curious, but I bit down to the bone and it cooked through. So 12 minutes on each side is a perfect cook time for this chicken. Um, and it also helps that the chicken is completely thawed and I let it set for about 15 to 20 minutes on my countertop to take the chill off. So that definitely helps with a more even, uh, consistent cook. So yeah, super yummy. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.